Hello, Grade 4 students. Our lesson today is from Module 3, Project 1. As for the objectives of the lesson, by the end of the lesson, you will be able to read a poster about rules in a place. Also, you will be able to talk about what you have to or don't have to do. Make sure you open your student book at page 37, workbook page 36. Now, look at the text in front of you. What type of text is it? Are there paragraphs? As you can see, there are no paragraphs. There are sentences, and each sentence in a line. Also, as you notice, there are pictures, and there is a title. What do we call this text? We call this a poster. And people do posters to give information about something. Now, please refer to student book page 37, activity 1. Make sure you listen, follow, and read. Module 3, Project 1. Read the poster below, then ask and answer. What do you have to do in a library? You have to be quiet. What we have to do in a library. You have to leave before 9 o'clock. You have to be quiet. You don't have to pay for anything. You have to have a library card to borrow books. You have to bring the books back. Now follow with me step by step. Look at the title and read with me. What we have to do in a library. Look at have to. When do we use it? Do you remember? We use it to talk about rules. Excellent. And to talk about rules in a place. What is that place? As you can see in the title, it's the library. Now, when we give rules, we give rules in different places. Such as library, hospital, school, museum, and home. If you want to give rules in a certain place, you need to follow the following. Use have to or don't have to to talk about the rules in that place. Look at the example. I have to be quiet in the library. Please remember the following when you want to give rules. Follow with me. To form a sentence, you need to start with I plus have to plus verb in the infinitive form, which is the base form without adding anything to the verb. What if you want to give the negative? You would say I plus don't plus have to plus the verb in the infinitive form. Look at the example. Read with me. I have to keep my phone silent in the library. Now let's practice giving rules in school. Make sure grade 4 you read the question with me and answer according to the picture. Let's start. What do you have to do at school? Look at the picture. Keep class clean. Can you think of an answer? I'll give you some time to think. Now read along. I have to keep the class clean. And remember, it's everyone's responsibility in class to keep it clean. And it's very important to keep the area around you as clean as possible. And if you do that, you will live in a clean place and a clean environment. Let's continue and read the question with me. What do you have to do at school? Look at the picture and think of an answer. 
Listen to the teacher. Can you think? Read with me. I have to listen to the teacher. Great. Make sure grade 4, you keep your eyes and your ears with the teacher. Concentrate in class and during the lessons. What do you have to do at school? Look at the picture. Bring my books. What would you say? You would answer, I have to bring my books. Great. Make sure grade 4, you're always prepared and you always prepare your books the day before school. Read the question with me, please. What do you have to do at school? Look at the picture. Be on time. Can you think of an answer? Try to think. Read the sentence with me. I have to be on time. And to do that, you have to sleep early in order to wake up early. Let's move on. Read the question with me. What do you have to do at school? Look at the picture. Work hard. Can you form a sentence? Read with me. I have to work hard. Great. Make sure you keep working hard, grade 4. And to do that, you need to read your lessons, memorize the new words, and learn their spellings. What do you have to do at school? Look at the picture. Wear a uniform. Can you think of a sentence? Let's read it together. I have to wear a uniform. Great. Make sure your uniform is always clean and ironed properly. Please refer to student book page 37. Activity 2. And let's do the activity together. Activity 2. Think of some rules for the classroom and write them down. We will use the ideas in order. Let's start with the first idea. Be quiet. The sentence is given to you. You have to be quiet. And of course, you have to be quiet because you and your classmates need to understand the lesson. Let's go to the next idea. Sit desk. Your sentence would be, You have to sit at your desk. Great. Notice grade 4 that the sentences end with a full stop and they start with a capital letter. Now pause the video and complete. Let's move on. Listen, teacher. You have to listen to your teacher. Great. And you have to do that to understand the lessons. Let's continue. Keep classroom clean. You would say, you have to keep your classroom clean. Excellent. And the last idea, work others. You have to work with others. And you have to do that to show respect. Now let's practice giving rules at home. Now read the question with me and refer to the picture to answer. Let's start. What do you have to do at home? Look at the picture. Do my homework. So the answer would be, I'll give you some time to think. Now read with me. I have to do my homework. Make sure everyone, you do your homework on time. Let's continue. What do you have to do at home? 
in the picture it's mentioned not wash the dishes. So you should form the negative. And the sentence would be I don't have to wash the dishes. Great. Now read the question with me. What do you have to do at home? Look at the picture. Help mother. Can you answer the question? The sentence would be, I have to help my mother. Great. Make sure everyone, you help your parents at home. What do you have to do at home? Not take out rubbish. Think of an answer. I don't have to take out the rubbish. Super great for. Let's continue. What do you have to do at home? Look at the picture. Make my bed. So the answer would be, read along. I have to make my bed. Great. It's your responsibility, great for, to make your bed and to tidy your room. Me as a teacher, I have a lot of things and tasks to do at school. I will tell you some of the things that I have to do. Follow with me. I have to help my students. Your teacher is there to help you. Let's continue. I have to display my students' work. I have to present them for my students and put them on the board. I have to read students' written work. And I mean by written work, every sentence that you write in your workbook or notebook. What about you? Now it's your turn to talk about things you have to do. And I would like you to talk about things you have to do at home. I'll show you some ideas. Do my homework. Or wash the dishes. It could be help mother. Or it could be make my bed. Try to use these ideas and form sentences using have to to give rules at home. Please discuss your sentences with your classmates or teacher, or you can also discuss them with your family. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.